Arsenal have been handed a potentially devastating blow after William Saliba was sent off against Bournemouth, with the defender set to miss out on his side's clash against Liverpool next Sunday. Ryan Christie's first Premier League goal for more than two years paved the way for AFC Bournemouth to register a memorable 2-0 win over title hopefuls Arsenal on Saturday. Christie's finally taken strike, which came after Justin Clivert had helped on a Lewis Cook corner, saw the hosts open the scoring in the 70th minute. And Andoni Irela's team doubled their lead just nine minutes later when Clivert confidently converted a penalty, awarded after Ivanilson had been brought down by David Rea. Arsenal, bidding to record a 2,000th victory in the top flight, were reduced to 10 men when defender William Saliba saw red for hauling down of Ilsen in the 30th minute. A deserved win for the Cherries saw them beat the Gunners for the first time since triumphing 2-1 on home turf in January 2018. Head coach Irelo made three changes to his starting lineup following the 1-0 defeat at Leicester City ahead of the international break. Alex Scott, Dango Watara, and Julian Araujo, who all came off the bench at the King Power Stadium, were handed starts. They came in for Christie, Adam Smith, and Clivert who were all named on the bench and came on to play a huge part in the win. Ricardo Calafiori was forced to clear Lewis Cook's probing free kick, the Arsenal defender nipping in ahead of Watara at the far post. Chances were at a premium during a cagey opening spell, Antoine C. Menayo firing over the crossbar from 25 yards after Scott had teed him up. Arsenal were reduced to 10 men when France international Saliba saw red for hauling down of Ilsen as he prepared to go clear on goal. Although referee Rob Jones initially showed Saliba a yellow card, the official changed his decision after being sent to the monitor by his VAR colleagues. Saliba's teammate Gabriel slid in to divert C. Menayo's effort for a corner before Mikel Marino dragged his shot wide at the opposite end, the Gunners' first chance coming after 35 minutes. As the Cherries looked to make their numerical advantage count, Ivan Ilsen's fierce drive was blocked by Declan Rice. And following a lovely turn, C. Menayo was foiled by David Rea, the Arsenal goalkeeper beating away the Cherries' forward stinging shot at his near post. Rea again came to the visitors' rescue having spilled C. Menayo's cross, the Spanish stopper recovering to save with his foot after Marcus Tavernier had seized on the loose ball. As the first half drew to a close, a snapshot from Arsenal midfielder Thomas Partey failed to trouble Kepa as it sailed over the crossbar. C. Menayo lifted his effort over the crossbar after being picked out by Watera's cross at the start of the second half, the move started by Milos Kirkez's driving run down the left wing. Inform Arsenal striker Kai Havertz, kept quiet by the Cherries' defence in the first half, nodded Declan Rice's 51st-minute corner wide of the target. Tavernier's glancing header from C. Menayo's cross drifted past the post before a triple substitution saw Ryan Christie, Luis Sinistera, and Justin Clivert come on in the 63rd minute. The Cherries had a let-off when Capaz's stray pass went to Marino but after he had slipped the ball to Gabriel Martinelli, the goalkeeper made a fine save to thwart the Arsenal substitute. Christie drew first blood for the Cherries in the 70th minute, the Scotsman arriving to delicately caress the ball past Rea after Clivert had flicked Cook's corner into his path. And Irela's team doubled their lead nine minutes later when Clivert sent Rea the wrong way from the spot after Ivan Ilsen had been fouled by the Arsenal goalkeeper for the penalty. The defender was initially shown a yellow card for fouling Ivan Ilsen, who was racing away towards goal after Leandro Trossard's loose back pass from the left of the pitch near the halfway line. Bournemouth players were incensed by the original decision to only caution the centre-back, but referee Robert Jones was later advised by the VAR to look at the incident again. Saliba's yellow card was rescinded in favour of a red, with the Frenchman adjudged to have prevented a goal-scoring opportunity by committing a last-man foul, and he will now serve a one-game ban. The Gunners lost 2-0 against the Cherries, but more concerning for Mikel Arteta will be the fact that the red card means he will be unable to select arguably one of the Premier League's finest defenders when they host title rivals Liverpool on October 27 at the Emirates. It is difficult to describe the importance of Saliba to Arsenal, both in terms of his value on the ball and his value out of possession. Perhaps his influence is best illustrated by the end of the 2022-23 Premier League season, 
a campaign in which he missed the Gunners' last 11 league matches, with Arteta's side winning 5, drawing 3, and losing 2 in that period. Arsenal had only lost 3 times in the prior 27 top-flight fixtures, drawing 3 times and winning on 21 occasions. In 2023-24, the Frenchman featured in all 38 games of his team's Premier League season, and it is no coincidence that Arteta's side conceded the fewest goals and faced the fewest shots on target of any club. Against Bournemouth on Saturday evening, the Gunners had 51% possession and faced 13 shots while only producing six efforts of their own. The Gunners were already without both Bukayo Saka and Martin Adegaard against Bournemouth due to injury, and now that they have lost Saliba to suspension, Arteta will have to somehow reconfigure his team in time for his side's match against Liverpool. Arteta was positive during pre-match interviews about the fitness of Saka, though Adega Art is unlikely to be thrown straight into the starting 11 against the Reds should he be declared fit enough for Sunday's clash. One of Ben White, Ricardo Calafiori, or Jacob Kiwi are probable candidates to replace the suspended Saliba, and at least the trio all have considerable experience of operating at centre-back despite predominantly featuring as full-backs for Arteta. If Adega Art fails to recover in time for his side's match against Arne Slots Liverpool, it would not be surprising if Arsenal opted for a more direct approach next Sunday, relying on the blistering speed of the likes of Gabriel Martinelli to threaten in behind. Arsenal demonstrated against Manchester City that when their backs are against the wall, their defence can rise to the challenge and prevail in the face of adversity, so perhaps the Gunners can still earn a positive result against the Reds. Ryan Christie and Justin Clivert dealt 10-man Arsenal their first Premier League defeat of the season as Bournemouth triumphed 2-0 on Saturday. William Saliba received a red card on the half-hour mark, giving the hosts a glorious opportunity for an upset at the Vitality Stadium. And midway through the second half, Bournemouth took that chance, with Christie breaking the deadlock in the 70th minute before Clivert doubled their advantage from the penalty spot. That spot kick ensured Arsenal could not salvage a result to maintain their unbeaten start to the campaign as the Gunners came up short on a frustrating day for Mikel Arteta and suffered their first away defeat in the league in 2024. Arsenal stayed third, missing the chance to go top with Liverpool and Manchester City not playing until Sunday, while Bournemouth move up to 10th after collecting their third win of the season. There was little to excite the fans in a cagey opening, with Gabriel Magal has seeing a header blocked at one end before Antoine C. Menayo fired over at the other. That changed when Saliba pulled down a Vanilson just inside Arsenal's half as the forward threatened to run in behind, and saw his yellow card upgraded to a straight red for denying a goal-scoring opportunity after a VAR review. C. Menayo had a shot pushed away by David Rea before halftime and ballooned a first-time volley over the bar after the break. Gabriel Martinelli almost made Bournemouth pay against the run of play, but K. Potterizabalaga made a sharp, low stop to keep the score a lean level. Just 95 seconds later, the Cherries' pressure paid off as Christie rifled a first-time shot into the top corner after he was left unmarked at a corner. Rea tripped Evan Ilsen in his haste to close the angle in a one-on-one -on -one soon after, giving away a spot kick that Clivert emphatically fired in to seal what is only Bournemouth's second Premier League win over Arsenal. Arsenal lost 2-0 away to Bournemouth in the Premier League on Saturday evening, playing the final 60 minutes of the match with 10 men following William Saliba sending off. Ryan Christie scored from a Bournemouth corner in the 70th minute, before Justin Clivert made it 2-0 from the penalty spot. Lewis Cook saw a deep free kick headed away by Ricardo Calafiori before David Rea gave the ball away to Alex Scott as we tried to play out from the back, only for Antoine Simenayo to fire over the bar as the hosts mounted the pressure early on. Arsenal struggled to create any chances of note in the first 30 minutes as a Raheem Sterling cross evaded everyone and sailed wide of the post. Everything changed in the 28th minute when Leandro Trossard went to play the ball back to Rea. Ivan Ilsen looked set to intercept the pass and Saliba pulled him back, our centre-back initially shown a yellow card by the referee. But VAR urged Rob Jones to have another look at the incident on a monitor and, after doing so, he changed Saliba's punishment to a red card. 
Gabriel got his body in front of an effort from C. Menayo before we had a chance to take the lead when Sterling's cross was hooked wide by Mikel Marino, who was making his first start for Arsenal. Mikel Arteta brought Jacob Kiwier on in the 36th minute to tidy up the defence, with Sterling the player having to make way. C. Menayo continued to look dangerous for Bournemouth but Rea was equal to his efforts, even spilling one of his crosses and getting up quickly to deny Marcus Tavernier on the rebound. Thomas Partey volleyed the ball over the bar and we went into the break goalless after a lively first half. C. Menayo touched the ball over the bar from close range from Dango Waters cross early in the second half, before Kai Havertz headed a Declan Rice corner over the bar at the other end. A cross from C. Menayo was then headed wide by Tavernier ahead of our second change of the match with Gabriel Martinelli coming on for Trossard. Arsenal substitute almost changed the game straight away when K. Potterizabalaga played the ball straight to Marino, who found Martinelli, but his shot was straight at the Bournemouth goalkeeper. Arsenal were made to pay for the missed opportunity straight away, as a Bournemouth corner reached Christie, who cushioned it into the top left corner. C. Menayo smashed the ball high and wide after another Bournemouth corner fell to Marco Senesi, and we then had a mountain to climb when a Kiwi or pass was cut out by Ivan Ilsen, who won a penalty after attempting to take the ball around Rhea. Clover tucked it into the bottom right for 2-0. Gabriel Jesus and Ethan Wainery then came on for Kiwi and Marino with 10 minutes to go. The former wriggled his way into the penalty area and went down late on, but the referee didn't see enough to award a penalty. Since Arteta's first game in charge of Arsenal on Boxing Day 2019, the Gunners have been shown 18 red cards in the Premier League, at least five more than any other side. Bournemouth secured just their second ever Premier League victory against Arsenal, P15D2L11, and first since January 2018, 2-1. Bournemouth substitute Christie scored just his second ever Premier League goal, and first in 68 appearances, with his previous coming against Leicester in October 2022. In his 157th appearance in a match in Europe's Big Five Leagues, Saliba has been given a red card for the very first time. It's also his first red card in 93 games for Arsenal in all competitions. What's next? UEFA Champions League football returns to N5 as we host Shakhtar Donetsk for an 8pm kickoff on Tuesday. We're then beak in Premier League action with the visit of Liverpool at Emirates Stadium at 4.30pm on Sunday. Thank you for watching this video.